Hi guys, welcome back to Drink Tutorials Holiday Edition. Today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to make a one-off eggnog. Uh, I thought it would be nice to show you guys how to make just like a one per order for yourself eggnog as opposed to a big punch bowl of eggnog because not everybody wants a punch bowl. But I will say this, if you look in the show notes down there, you will find my recipe for a punch bowl that'll serve about 20 people and as I was doing my historical research on eggnog, I came across George Washington's punch recipe, and I will give you that eggnog recipe as well. So look in the show notes, definitely. And if you have any questions, as always, please leave comments because I do read them and I will address all of them. All right, let's, uh, quick history, sorry. Uh, the quick history on eggnog is that it was developed in the 13th century uh, by monks in early medieval Britain. Uh, at that time, it was called posset, and it was a... Uh, sherry, ale-like substance, cream, egg mixture. Uh, it didn't become a holiday drink until it crossed the pond. And because the people that were uh, the first settlers of the U.S. or what we, you know, the 13 colonies, um, because they had more access to livestock and therefore cream and eggs, uh, everyone could enjoy eggnog, not just the super wealthy, which was what was uh, the case in most of its history. All right, let's get started making our eggnog. So the first thing we're gonna do is half an ounce of simple syrup. And then I'm gonna use Smith & Cross rum, which is overproof rum, three quarters of an ounce. And we're also gonna use Old Grandad. I'm using overproof rum and overproof bourbon because I wanna really make a colonial style eggnog, and I say colonial style because during the colonies, distillation was not yet an art and everything was rough and mean. And I like really big flavors and I think you will too. So you do three quarters of an ounce of the old granddad bonded. And then we're gonna crack an egg. We're gonna put it in a separate tin because we wanna make sure that if we get any um, yolk, I mean, sorry, yolk, as like we get any uh, shell in there, uh, we won't get it into the spirits because then we'll just have ruined everything. So you want to put it in its own separate tin. And then the last thing to go in, well, not the last thing, but the last liquid to go in will be one ounce of heavy cream. Then we're going to do a little cinnamon, tiny bit of cinnamon, and a little bit of eggnog. I mean, eggnog. And a little bit of nutmeg, which is what makes eggnog taste like eggnog. And we are going to add that all together. And we're gonna dry shake it. Dry shaking is really important because it emulsifies the egg and it starts to whip the heavy cream. And for you guys that aren't used to doing this, just count to about 40 in your head and then you'll have shaken dry enough. It's a workout. Um, so, putting ice in this is kind of an art. And the reason why is because usually you would shake something like this with one big rock. But the way that I've developed uh, to do this is to actually just use one small, dense piece of ice and shake with this. And the reason why you wanna shake with a small, dense piece of ice is because what this will do is actually help you whip the heavy cream and add the right amount of dilution, and then you don't actually need to strain out any, you don't have to worry about shards of ice or straining the, the mixture off of an ice block. Uh, but this is really important because you wanna make sure that you get a really nice hard whip. You want that cream, that heavy cream to be really thick. So you take your ice and you add it, and then we're just gonna shake this until it's completely dissolved and gone.
and the ice is just about gone. All right, ice is all gone. Now, we strain it into our Georgian punch glass or footed rocks glass. And then, ah, a little bit more cinnamon as a garnish. A little more nutmeg as a garnish. And there you have it, your one-off train to the holidays eggnog. If you guys like what you see and you want to see more, definitely hit subscribe. And we also set up a, a website, uh, drinkmerch.com, where we're selling these awesome t-shirts. So you should definitely pick one up.